Friday morning. It's the start of an extra vlog. It's about half past seven. And here is Rufus. Hello, Rufus. Oh, already? Already? We just got up. Rufus, do you want her? Do you want her? Crazy bold. Good boy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh I can't get, I'm never getting the lid off this. Gravy bone! He's off. He always sits here now to have his gravy bone. He runs upstairs. I'm going to make myself a coffee. So we're going to have to slurp coffee shop to see what they have available. I'm going to have... So I've been having decaf coffee for quite a while, but I've started to have one normal coffee in the mornings and then decaf it for one another. And that seems to be okay because I was having too much caffeine. So what mug... Oh, I know what I'm going to choose. It's going to be this one. Hello, you... This lovely anthropology mug. Oh, that's okay. So I'm going to put that down here. I'm just going to plonk some milk in. Lee's just made some breakfast. So I've got some special K, but it's like the Tesco version with strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. This is lovely. Thank you. That's Rufus. Oh, I need to give you your breakfast afterwards, don't I? Yes. We thought we'd have our breakfast outside, so that was really nice. And just drinking the rest of my coffee. Once again, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Can't get over this weather. It's just amazing. And there's no wind either, which is lovely. Look at the sky. And I'm going to sort out the greenhouse today because it's got a little bit wrecked. So it's kind of everything gets bunged in there in the evening so I'm going to make that all pretty again on the inside and I'll show you the I'll do an update of all the flowers as well and Bestie has come back to bed so he's just sitting on our bed while he's having a sleep he looks knackered you look tired Bestie Bestie hello hello again Rufus Should we go outside come on hello I just started talking I started vlogging and then my arm was really aching and then I saw the tripod that was just here so I thought I'd say hello in the tripod instead so it's all set up and my arm doesn't ache um so it's 20 past well about 25 past 10 now in the morning I've had a shower I've washed my hair I'm wearing this dress again that I wore I think in the vlog from last weekend and it was in my summer dresses video from Wednesday and it's only a pound from the charity shop it's just so comfortable so I just thought I'd put it on it's nice it's washed so it's nice and clean um so this is what I'm wearing and I found this little I don't find it I bought this little crochet rainbow um thing sorry this noise is my flip-flops they um they make like fart sounds so in case you thought I was just blowing off it's my flip-flops they do like a funny bloop, bloop noise and it's just them just in case you were like what are you doing you're trumping I'm not it's my flip-flops so I saw this on our way back from the walk the other day and the lady was selling these and some face masks for charity it was for mind and I thought oh I love one of those little crochet rainbows so me and Toby went and bought one they were three pounds but we gave her um four pounds I think so we gave her an extra pound how cute is that a lady dropped them off who made them love that it's really pretty so i'm gonna put that back up here um what was i gonna say oh yeah i went to um pound stretcher yesterday so i went for a walk i had a social distancing walk with a friend which was lovely we walked four miles I've done so much walking lately it's been really nice i used to hate walking but at the moment i love it and sort of noticing things you've never seen before it's just really enjoyable we haven't been doing joe wicks we've just been walking so the last week we just walked we walked seven miles one day oh i did a vlog didn't i I vlogged that, so we went to the waterways, and I'll link that video in the description and all the other ones I've done this week. So it's been lovely. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, Pound Stretcher. So on the way back, I went to Pound Stretcher, that's me driving, and it looked really quiet outside. There wasn't many cars, and I really needed some hay fever tablets because we've run out, and hay, fe hay fever's been quite bad. So I thought, well, I'll just go in there and get my hay fever tablets and have a little look around, and there was no one else in there. I think there was one other person, maybe a couple of people, but we were all really separate and keeping away from each other and it was just really peaceful so I went up and down the aisles and found a couple of things and I filmed it yesterday so I'll just insert my pound stretcher haul so you can see what I bought yesterday this is everything that I bought from pound stretcher and I'll show you in a bit more detail I went in to get these hay fever tablets because our hay fever's got worse recently and these are really good ones everyone all the others were quite expensive these are 79p 
for 14 tablets, which is brilliant because you pay around three pounds, I think, for seven, you know, with some branded hay fever tablets. And I like these citrusin hydrochloride ones. I can't say it properly, but they're really good. So I bought four packets of those, 79p each. I also bought um, this hair dyeing thing, the 69p, because I do need to dye my hair. I have got some hair dyeing stuff in my drawers, so I'll get that out and do my hair at some point because all the greys are coming through. That was only 69p, which I thought was really good. And then foodie bits, some Jaffa cake things. They were, I think, 59p, and they've got like cherry flavoured. We've been having a lot of barbecue, so I thought these sauces looked good. Some Heinz burger sauce, that was 49p. This bullseye, smoky chipotle, was, oh, let me just check how much that was. That was 79p, the bullseye, smoky chipotle sauce. It says hot sauce, actually, I didn't see that, so might, that might be too hot for me, but Lee would like that. Another barbecue sauce, no, burger sauce, that was 49p. Some drawing pins, 69p. These were, I'm trying to get some healthier snacks, and these look quite nice. They were £1.49, Benicol fruit and nut bars, and there's, oh, there's three in there. So I'll see what they're like. This was 99p, looked quite nice, like a street kitchen meal thing. So I just need to add chicken and prawns and rice. So it's got the different sachet things inside and then a recipe on the back. So Lee will make that, that'd be lovely. Hopefully not too hot, but it doesn't say too spicy. Oh, a hint of spice, perfect, that'll be lovely. And I do like spicy stuff, but not when it's gonna blow your head off. And then 2 99 for some batteries. So I needed some of those as well. Hopefully they'll be good ones. These were bargains, they're only plastic. It's a planter, but I think it looks quite nice. It's a pound, well, it was a pound, a barrel what is it oh 10 inch barrel so i've got two of those and then over here the last things that was rufus having a little snore somewhere these um bulbs and they've already started to grow so i don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign but i thought well i'll have a go so i'm gonna plant them in a bit in, in a what in a minute three dahlia mixed and another one as well they're a pound each and i also bought these um oxalis debris as well so I'm going to plant those, they were a pound each too. So that is my pound stretchers mini haul. And I bought this as well. I just saw it was next to my handbag. This was a pound. It's just a iPhone charger cable and it's three meters, which is good because we've got a couple of short ones and some that haven't, they've stopped working. So I thought that'd be really handy and good for a pound. And apart from pound stretcher, I've only been to co-op a few times. And that's it. So it felt quite nice and normal to go into the shops yesterday and, well, into the shop. But it's obviously a massive shop. There was loads to look at. Pound stretch is really good. So I found some, you know, some different things. So I'm glad I went in. I also felt really calm. I thought I might be a bit panicky, but as there was no one around, it felt really calm and nice. So yeah, I enjoyed that yesterday. And then I think the shops are all opening, I think the 16th of June. So I'll probably hang on until then. I might go to Pound Stretch again because... I know what it's like and when there's hardly any cars outside it's quite quiet but I'm looking forward to going to Poundland. I did a Poundland video the other day of things I found in my bathroom like in my drawers so I'll link that in the description as well so I'm looking forward to going back there so I think yeah when it gets to the 16th and all the other shops open um, I'll probably I'll probably head out then but I'm gonna make myself a coffee I'm gonna go in the garden show you the um you know how our plants and flowers are getting on and I've got to tidy the greenhouse. I just made a little decaf coffee so I'm just having that. Rufus is here. Hello Rufus. Hello. So let's see how our plants are getting on. So they're all outside the greenhouse on this patio and everything looks good. These um, geraniums, they haven't sprouted yet or flowered but they're just still there. Everything's looking lovely oh i love that i love you and look at this it's even bushier than last week i think looks gorgeous okay anything happening oh lee's granny made this for my mum last year and it's full of um beautiful flowers in july so i'm hoping they'll all come through so i'll just keep watering it and hoping for the best so things are growing in there but that was beautiful when she brought that over last year and i planted these yesterday they had the shoots already in them in the packet so hopefully they will pop up into a flower and then what have I got over here that's still keeping us in suspense of what it's going to be something's doing well at the back there 
nothing from this one. The only thing is the birds poo on them, which can't be good, can it? And then stuff is happening in here. We've got movement, nothing in there just yet. And this is where the strawberries were planted. There is something happening here. There is something happening here. That little shoot there. There is something happening. Right, I'm gonna show you the current state of the greenhouse. Look, look at this. There's Lego in here. There's Lego up there. We've moved a fridge in here so we can get to our drinks easily, but it's just a bit trashed. Look, stuff everywhere. And then we've been playing games in here. So we've got our Settlers of Catan <laughs> board game. So I'm gonna tidy it all up. Oh, we'll go over here actually. And I'll show you nothing in there yet. We're still waiting. Whatever, you know, fingers crossed something will happen. And here is Toby's bean sprout thing. I do need to replant that, I think, because it needs a bigger pot because it's growing really well. I knocked this over the other day when we were playing a game. I walked past in my dressing gown and it went, it sort of fell to the floor and then it was all crumpled. And I put it back and it like it was all sad and it was all like half bent over. And then 20 minutes later, it just went whoop and then mirac miraculously, it was fine. So well done, you're a fighter. So I'm gonna put that in a bigger pot, I think these two, but they're doing the best of all, I think, Toby's plants. And this rose is doing well. No flowers yet, but I think they must be on their way. I'm gonna put the radio on, put some music on, and then tidy up the greenhouse, and then I will show you it when it's all looking lovely. And I've been faffing around in the garden, so I'm tidying up the greenhouse, but then I got distracted and started to make this area look pretty. That's where it was before, I don't know if you could see. When I um when I was filming before, and then I just shoved the chairs, two chairs over there, with the Asda parasol that's leaning to the left a little bit. So I'll, I'll fix that in a second. Well, actually I won't. I'll leave it till later. Um, yeah. So this is what I've just done. I've taken some pictures for Instagram. So I faffed about. I got the cushions from upstairs because I thought they look really lovely. All the woven cushions together, and then got the B and M flowers from ages ago. The charity shop lanterns and our bedroom throw that needs a wash anyway. So I thought, well, I'll stick it on, on here for the day. This cushion is the one Mr. Carrington made a couple of years ago. So that's here too. They're from B&M. That one's Asda, B&M, B&M, charity shop. Yep, that was the charity shop one that was four quid. And that I think is the, another Asda one. I think it looks really lovely. And then these are B&M as well. These like, um, what are they called, macrame? vases and I've got some little lights in there from Poundland. My mug of the day, a couple of um, you know, citrus, no, what are they called? They keep bugs away, those ones, a couple of candles and then a fake eucalyptus thing I just chucked on for a bit of green in something from the range, that, that um, milk churn thing and I just think it looks lovely. So yeah, just taking some pictures. I'm going to sit there in a bit in that little shady corner and have a little relaxed. Rufus is fast asleep over there. I've just moved this slip and slide out of sight. Toby's had so much fun on the slip and slide, although it's just crumpled up in a ball. And then he was jumping on this and going down the slip and slide, having um, the best time. So I'll probably set that, that up later. It was just, um, yeah, Lee moved it yesterday to give the grass a little, little rest. Hello, Rufus. Hello, are you okay? He gets really hot. I booked him in for a doggy haircut, middle of June. So I did give him a little trim, but it was really difficult. So you'll have to wait. Oh, look at that. I need to get that out though. He's got a little mat thing in his hair. I'll get that for you, Rufus. And then you'll have a doggy haircut very soon. I think this looks so lovely though. Really nice. And then over here, I've set up an area for Toby. So I've just shoved a blanket down here and put his Lego on. He probably won't play with it, but I thought just in case, even if it's for like 20 minutes, he can sit here. And the, the shade, the um, sun moves and it'll be shady in about an hour. It's about quarter past 12 now and I've suddenly got really hungry. You know, you go from being, oh, I'm okay to, oh, I need to eat now. So I'm gonna go in and I think I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. And I'm not gonna have a sandwich. I've just seen there's some spaghetti bolognese left over from last night's dinner. So I'm gonna have this instead. I've just heated it up in the microwave and here is my lunch. And this is only a small plate, so it's not like a massive portion of spaghetti. And I always think it tastes better the next day. Chili or spaghetti or mm. bolognese always tastes um, 
really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. It's almost 1 p.m. and I'm gonna go and finish tidying up the greenhouse, but I just wanted to show you a couple of things. So I was um, really hoping that I would find a bag of charity shop items that I'd forgotten about. And well, I know it's not like a bag of things, but these were in my car. So I had a little sort out the other day of things to take to the charity shop. And then I saw these and thought, oh, I left them in my car and completely forgot because I didn't drive for like two months. So I was really happy to see these. I know there are any jars. They're like these big kilner jars and they're like the large size. They were two pounds each. I bought these with Louise ages ago, um, about three months ago, four months ago. And I bought three of them. She liked them as well, but she needed the lids. And I just thought, well, I'll get them because I make quite nice um, vases. So they were two pounds each and there's three of them. So I brought them inside and I thought I would show you my um my lovely kilner jars and if you've got any ideas of things to do with them let me know write them in the comments and then we've got some new garden furniture which i'll show you in a second it's a garden table and chairs which we needed for our garden obviously so i'll show you that in a bit it's from asda no it's from argos and while i was looking on the website i thought well i've got a free delivery so i thought well i'll buy a lovely plant pot and this was 10 pounds which might seem quite a lot but then i thought it's free delivery and I'll just treat myself to one plant pot because hopefully soon I'll get, you know, searching through the charity shops and be able to find loads. But I thought that was gorgeous. So I'm going to buy some wildflower seeds and grow them in there. And hopefully they will, you know, go all lovely and flowery. And then the final thing I'm going to quickly show you are these tassels I got from eBay. And they were $1.99 for the pack, including delivery. There's 10 in here and I'm going to tie them to the umbrella, you know, the parasol from Asda. So I'm going to hopefully they'll look lovely. We shall see. Or might need to do, might need to double up, maybe get another pack of them. I know they're not that hard to make, but I just thought they were really reasonable um, on eBay. So I thought I would get them. So I just wanted to show you this little stash, basically. A little mini charity shop haul. I know it's only three things and the same things, but they're from charity shops nonetheless. So I was really excited to find them in my car. Love this. And I just tried these on the corners of the parasol and they look terrible. Yeah, they just didn't look right, but I'll keep hold of these and I'll give them to Ewan next time I see him and then hopefully he can do something with it. He normally does the things I give him. How lovely is this parasol? It's gonna be in, I've got an Asda haul for Wednesday and this is gonna be in that haul. Well, you just see it like this basically at the end. I love it so much. It's just the best thing ever. And this was only 25 quid, this parasol, love it. And I've just finished tidying up the greenhouse. It's not perfect, but it's so much better than it was. So there's no toys in here or games, just how it kind of was before. So with the table, three chairs, and this little butler tray thing that I bought, or butler table, that was from a car boot, Julie's car boot sale. I think I bought that about five years ago, maybe, and it was 20 quid. So it wasn't like really cheap, but I think the guy just painted it and I love it. So the tray comes off, it's really nice. And we decided to put it in here because it was in our house and didn't really need to be. So that looks a bit better. Yeah, and I think that is just about done. And I'm just gonna show you our um, new garden table and chairs. And over here is our new garden table and chairs. It looks like one you just have in your home rather than a garden table and chairs, but it is. It, um, it is the proper one for the garden. And it was an offer. It wasn't like really cheap, but it wasn't ex too expensive. It had a hundred pounds off. It was meant to be 500 quid and it was down to 399 pounds. So that's for everything. That's for the two benches and the two chairs. And I think they're really um, quite sturdy and the cushions are really soft and the table's great as well. So I think I don't think that's bad at all. There was another one that I really wanted, but they didn't, um, it was more expensive and they didn't have it in stock. So I thought we'd go for this. So it's a little bit different, but I love it. So we played um, we played uh, our game the other night, sat here and had a barbecue and it was lovely. These make it really comfortable. These are the sheepskin rugs that were in our bedroom. So we had one either side and then I just thought I'd put them here because it makes it really, really cozy and comfy to sit on. There's another one over there. So I'll probably get a couple more for our bedroom because they're really nice out here. So yeah, this is our new garden table and chair set. I did put a picture on Instagram, so you might have already seen it. And then I just plonked down some lanterns either side. And I've lit a candle, it's a citronella candle from Home Bargains. So I wouldn't mind going back soon to Home Bargains and getting a few more, because I think it's really nice, that one. I've nearly worn it all out. 
and then I've got my tea light holders from Asda just some other little ones that we were we had burning the other day as well and then an Aldi candle so it just made its way out here and then I decorated for Instagram and to look pretty in our garden I decorated the gazebo the only thing there's those bird poo on the top and you'll see like the trees like going hello trying to get in um, so I was trying to disguise a bird poo, but you know, it's just nature, there's nothing you can do about it. And then up here I put, how lovely is that wall, it's just so, so gorgeous, isn't it? And then I put the rose garlands from the range along here. This one is from eBay, this garland, and I just shoved some flowers in it, but they kept falling out, they're a bit of a pain. These ones are brilliant though, because they just wind around, and I've got a white rose one over here i've got a eucalyptus garland going along the top bit of the gazebo and some light bulbs but i faffed around with them so much they're from co-op and i'm going to end this vlog here so i hope you enjoyed it and like seeing our new garden furniture because i'm sitting here tidying up the greenhouse and some charity shop bits and oh a palm stretcher haul so yeah it's been quite a quite a full vlog so i hope you enjoyed it if you did come and read us give the video a like and make sure you subscribe as well come on i'll link all my other videos i've done lately i've done quite a few this week there was there was me saying oh i'm only gonna do three a week and then i've shoved loads on the last week so yeah i'll link all of those in case you missed them rufus is just down here too hello rufus he's doing some he was doing doggy yoga now he's just sitting down wagging his tail hello i wanted to come over and say bye oh i've got this rug under here it's an outdoor rug that I got from Sue Ryder Charity Shop in Galston and it was a pound. I didn't realise what it was when I first got it. I thought it was for the beach, but it's like an outdoor an outdoor rug and I think it looks really pretty there. So yeah, I've got a an Asda haul for Wednesday, so that'll be here at eight in the morning. And then what else have I got? I don't know, but there'll be some other videos. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care everyone. And come over to Instagram as well. I'll link my Instagram accounts in the description so you can come say hello on there. So have a great rest of your Sunday and have a lovely week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.